All right. Hello, everyone. I guess I mean I don't really know. Watch this. Um. Never done that before, so uh, I hope stream properly. Uh, show you. So it's just going to be basically Google. Um, I have to turn it off. We have. I have a little bit of a delay. De delay. Oh, I have first hi. Hello, uh, Jane. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I have my first watcher, uh, viewer. All right. Um, let's do then. All right. So I'm using Krita for thing, and sadly, things that I do for some reason uh, because I monitors her. Uh, my, my Wacom doesn't cover the whole monitors. Nothing goes away. Ooh! Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cool. Thank you, Jane. I'm, I'm happy you're following me. <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy uh, this streaming. Oh, first time ever talking to people over it. Okay. Good. Well, so basically, that I'm just going to be playing. Those are going to be cartoons. I really want to see how it streams. I want to see what it looks like in the end. And um, what the quality is going to be. I hope you can tell me if if what I do you like it. If you like it. all right. Start with very shape face. Not sure what it's gonna be. Just wanna <laughs> um everything looks versus great. Hello it. Um, I'm no, not sure how to pronounce your name, but hello. Okay, so I like to doodle a lot, basically, and um, I I do it all the time. I doodle before I start work, kind of a habit that I've had. I was very very young. I always had like an extra notebook right next to my uh, regular notebooks at school from my teachers. At first, didn't know what to do with it, but then they kind of got used to it. So I was allowed to doodle the books all the time. And um kind of can't live without it. When I'm talking to someone on the phone, when bored, <laughs> or um, well, just need a moment to think about something, I I just... It usually ends up being very much comic in style, uh, a little bit different from what I usually create. So that's what I'm going to say, just go think old things. I feel most comfortable uh, sharing this work, although I mean, it's pretty amazing. Oh, hello, Ramon, Ramon, Fernandez, hi. <laughs> Sorry if I don't respond to your 
um, questions or uh, your comments immediately. One thing is that I, uh, you see me with some delay, so you may post something and already like a couple of minutes ahead. So that's one thing. And another is I get your comments on a separate screen, so I have to look to the side to see what you're posting. Uh, Jane says that she likes the way I'm painting my hair. Um, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> I don't know if I should say, I, I, I love the way I paint hair as well. It's kind of like one of the things I really love doing um, is hair. For some reason, you know, I, I love painting mermaids in the sea, generally. And um, I love creating those, you know, waves and imagining how the hair can behave in, in the water but I also like drawing hair like that in, in those sketchy doodles that I do uh, somehow they become less of hair and more like a whole structure um, and I think that's that's why I like it like a sculpture One of the things I really like about Krita, although quite honestly I haven't worked in um, Photoshop for a while, so I don't know, maybe they've um, changed something over the last couple of years. They'll have a very old Photoshop. I used to work in um, Painter for a very long while, and then I very accidentally stumbled upon Krita. I don't really remember <clears throat> how it happened. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm having some voice problems. Woke up with a bit of a harshness in my voice this morning. Um, so I stumbled upon Krita just by accident and I kind of started using it at first, just, just being curious on, on what it is and what I can do with it. Um, you know, because it was a new program, I've never ever used it and it was free <laughs> and I've I've tried using um, programs that were free before um, the problem is most of them disappointed me I, I started using them and they were kind of good you know but in the end they didn't do what I wanted to do and Krita was a huge huge surprise for me um, it was very complex at first. I, I opened it up and thought, what am I supposed to do with all this? And um, I also um, was kind of overwhelmed with the amount of brushes that were available. And at first they seemed like uh, they weren't easy to set up, like it, they weren't easy to manage and work with. I opened up settings for brushes and uh that's different that's different what the heck is that and and it really seemed very complex but then you know i took a breath and I, okay i'm gonna give it a go and i'm just gonna pull i'm just gonna try each one of those brushes and the way i like to learn a new program is just to experiment turn this off turn this on <laughs> see what happens and, and soon enough i learned that Krita actually offers a lot of new um, settings, ways of um, controlling your brushes. So I think each person can find um, settings that they're going to like best. For me, I somehow always end up with those chalky looking brushes, <laughs> like this one. So like it has texture, really zoom in. That's not, I'm really working from the 5%. I usually work on bigger um, canvases, so those strokes would be um, a little bit less textured. Um, but right now I chose a smaller, 
smaller screen, small resolution, because I wasn't sure I was going to script stream or how Krita would save streaming with the OBS. I'm using OBS right now to stream this. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Jane. Uh, so she says, um, first painting I ever saw of yours was the mermaids. They look very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, hello, Miho. Uh, see your name, I can't. Oh, I started talking about Photoshop and Krita, and the reason why I was talk about it was this one feature that I really love, that I can turn my brush into an eraser. So um, when I hit E, it goes from brush to eraser. I really like this feature because I usually, um, especially when I work with, with line art, I love to be able to um, erase lines as I go. Many people, when they create a line art, they, they forget that there's going to be some. Uh, so instead of erasing a line that they don't want, they kind of in uh, intuitively just pick up the background color. You know what I mean? Like if they want to get rid of something, they will just pick up the background and then paint over it. And this is what happens. So like, let's say that I don't like part of classes. Uh -huh, well. <clears throat> I just pick up the background and go over it, and then later on I want <clears throat> to pick up a color and paint underneath, and look what happens. You cannot go back from that. <clears throat> oh my goodness, sorry if I lose a voice, I might shut up for a second, <laughs> just to uh, preserve some of the voice that I have left. And me. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. Great all day. We're getting some of, of Edna ish character here. That's going to be a pirate.
<clears throat> um, Mihao is asking, or do you prefer to work in Krita using a lot Um, that's a good question. I know that a lot of people, when they create art, they use tons of layers. Um, I'm kind of in the middle about that. Uh, I like using layers. I like the fact that I can, um, you know, paint on layers so I can turn them on and off and roll my paint there. But I generally don't do much. Like some people will um, create line art, red layer. They would create, I don't know, a, a color underneath and they'll create a red layer for, for, um, for colors. Sorry, not for colors, for shades, highlights, etc., etc. Um, I usually uh, create um, my first layer if I'm if I'm drawing for clients. But I deliver a very fast sketch with colors. I like to um, kind of put um, two layers on, which is the line art and color. But later on, I work uh, usually one 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 or two layers and they're not like designated layers for for like effect or anything. They're they're just I, I like to paint in layers because I like to turn on and off the the layer with the latest changes. Instead of like reaching to history, I can just kind of turn off the layer. So if I were like to create a new layer and then you know, add dots, that is, <laughs> um, then I can just you know click it. Oops, sorry. Uh, do I like it? Do I not like it? Yeah, I don't, and then I delete it. So I use those layers more for that than anything else. Sometimes I use um, like layers for uh, darkening something. So I'll, I'll use the multiply here, for example. That's the Ooh, we have 10 people watching. Oh, I'm actually getting. Hello, everyone. <laughs> That's some of our microphones. It's school. Hmm. <laughs> Thing. Yeah, I don't like it. I think I don't like it. Oh, you're welcome, Mio. And Jane has a question. Besides hair, what do you like to paint the most? Ah, well, <laughs> well, it kind of comes in a bundle. I, I kind of like painting hair because I like to paint um, uh, people in general, so faces, noses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, I seem to um, very fond. Like if I'm, if I were to analyze what I paint most. Um, or like separately, um, what I mean, like I I love painting eyes, um, 
but I also love painting hands. Hands are beautiful. Many people um, don't like painting hands. They kind of um, try not to paint hands if possible. What I mean, like they, they kind of try to avoid that part of of the character. Not sure what to do with his hands. Um, either way, they they don't like painting hands very much because hands are tricky. Hands are hard. I like taking reference photos from the, uh, those, those reference photos of myself or Um, so, um, hands are tricky, it's good to have, you know, if you're painting something more realistically, right now it's kind of about his shape of his hands, sorry, might not, great, <laughs> but, so you, you kind of realize how hands work after a while, said that, I'm not sure. Either change it or leave it, change it later. But try painting hands. I have been painting them a lot. It really uh, triggers something in your brain because the geometry is very specific. So many gestures. Uh, just out of curiosity, um, <laughs> I didn't. Um, so, out of curiosity, um, is there anyone who, because I, I posted about this streaming on my Facebook page, uh, so I'm assuming many of you came from my Facebook page. Uh, is there anyone who got here somewhere else, somehow else, like uh, you clicked on my video because it's shows on YouTube or maybe you're my subscriber or uh, whatever other might have thing here. <laughs> oh by the way, one of my favorite uh, brushes with, that I have in Krita. I have a lot of brushes here. You can see the icons are all over the place, but I remember what, what they are. This is um, a generic uh, preset brush that Krita has. Love it. Here's why. Um, I can apply any color. Oh, I pressed the W. Um, very, very quickly. Uh, like if I show you in a second, I'm going to show it. Uh, so you can both put something on with this brush or by pressing E. And turn it into a razor so it goes the internet something quickly without much fuss I can I mean obviously you have to be very have like something that you need to just take or to raise it bit by bit easy please Sort of break. <laughs> I'm just kind of um, just doodling, so my brain's working in a irrational way. Yeah. What me houses that he Facebook? Yes. Very. Don't. 
part. All right. So normally, I would create a next and uh, another layer for color. And uh, my this brush is really, brush is really cool. Color is really. This is just like a base color. He now asks if I have any custom uh, brush set for Twitter. I would like to share it with the world one time. Um, I do actually have, um, well, <laughs> I just created um, some brushes. To be quite honest, there's a lot of new brushes that I created. Not many of them survived my, um, my testing. So I thought they were cool at first and then I decided nah, they're not so cool. Um, I mainly use the ones that you can see right here. Uh, the problem, I think, with not problems, not really, Krita, is that you have um, have to export um, files that create the brush, brush tip, and that are in one folder in Krita. And then there's another folder that contains Krita preset. So it's kind of a um, folder that controls all this. Oh, this is right here. Uh, so this whole thing, so what your brush tip is, what's your blending modes, what's your opacity, flow, size, spacing, blah, 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 all this stuff being controlled by a separate um, file. So uh, I might do it one day. I, do, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I'd be a little embarrassed because um, I just create those brushes for myself. So all the icons gloves, really. Um, um, I, I'm probably gonna actually uh, create kind of a tutorial should um, on how to brush it, what to do in order to whole thing work. So you don't like you don't need my brushes. You can just uh, create your own brushes do. I create them. It's really um, you can you can control so many things, Twitter, and in your on your computer that could make my brushes just not good for you. For example, um, your sensitivity levels that you wear might not be comfortable with brushes, or this because you can um, I, but on Wacom control panel you can decide what kind of, what kind of Sensitivity point on your pen, and then you can do the same in crit. I like on top of weight. So you know, I might set my pen sensitivity to the sensitivity that's good with me and with my tablet, my crit. And then you're gonna open them up, and you're like, really she works with that. How's she ever able of of working with that brush? And the problem might. For you or change your settings. Ooh, Jose, he says, subscriber. Great. <laughs> awesome. So, in other words, it does show or great. I didn't really advertise it ahead of time. I do. I really just wanted to try it out. It goes.
see, um, was it Niho who asked about uh, how many layers I like to work with? I right now I'm layer three. Oh, sorry, layer one is like the base layer for this color, then layer three with liner and color. And um you kinda like at the beginning still kind of working in, or it's a sketch for public. I'll create another color layer. So like like a base color and the Add some extra colors like red or oh, me big pirate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the arms, sorry, um, the hands are usually a little bit red than any nose and ears, a bit cheeks. Now I can cr start creating maybe some highlights. Ooh, I just got some input <laughs> that my audio keeps going in and out. Sorry, guys. No idea why. Um, so look into that. Not that bad. Not sure if this this character makes sense right now. Um, just the pirate pointing up or making a statement. <laughs> you know. You can see I can now kind of compare before and after it. Highlight. Make a huge. What tip can you give us clients? Oh my goodness. Well, you. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you when I know. Now, uh, uh, truth be told, you have to have a good portfolio. So uh, that's the first most important thing that you have to have. Um, you know, create things for fun and uh, uh, practice a lot, sketch a lot, doodle a lot, do do all that things. Um, even though you may not see the difference straight away. Everyday basis, you are actually getting going to get your goes doing what you're what you're doing. You're going to get better and better, and so create a portfolio. Uh, nowadays, clients, well, depending on what kind of client you're aiming for, but they they most of them like to watch uh, you know your artwork online. A good website it doesn't have to be an amazing website, but it has to be so. What you're really interested in, what you do, your thing. Very important. Um, else, um, when you know, you can, you can, you can email, especially if you have clients very much. Want. Uh, you, like in general, you can just email editor. It's quite hard to find pictures. Basically. Um, but it's possible. Me. 
So email them, be polite. You can attach some low resolution, but not too low, just, just not too low of your works, especially those ones that you really want them to use. Sometimes uh, artists have different styles. Of, you know, creative director, um, publisher, general, right, and everything. Maybe it's even nicely categorized, but uh, doesn't see what you want them to see or what you want them to get impressed with. <clears throat> so so make sure you post a couple of artworks that they might be interested in. And you know, don't get discouraged. You don't always get a reply. They're busy people. I, they're not ignoring you. It's it's very often um our directors just keep information about you until well, they have something to do. Um, I was lucky to get some work a couple of times just because the um, publisher saw my work on DeviantArt or social media. So, so yeah, use social media, definitely. Social media. Choose the main or choose the portal, the, the, the website, the Facebook. Etc. Et or you want to love your work. And always be polite. Um, don't put your ego aside, ego aside. Don't think that you're the best. Constantly try to get better. If you think you're the best, just try to get better. Trust me. Uh, the nowadays I don't do that often, but when I I thought I was so awesome, so amazing. I mean, how how not see that? And then years later, especially nowadays, I look at those artworks that I thought were amazing. I can't believe that was great. Um, I've come a long way. Uh, I hope I hope that covers. So um, all right. So you can see that this is like. Not a finished sketch. It's kind of a sketch, and from now I would usually uh, start working on line art, and um, and just try rendering the whole piece. Uh, sometimes I start without the line work, especially if I work, you know, for on my own, just for myself. I'll I'll like draw a noise, paint a noise, that just like trying to block. Shape or shaping it. Just example right Especially with portraits, I do a lot of painting and painting. That sort, so just uh, change the shape, just play around, caricature, very smaller, really. I don't have to see where you're going, that blobs actually look like something or. Wanna, if you want to see, um, there is a short video of me sketching. There's a longer um, video available in the whole sketch. I think there's some. So, you know, so I just paint. Something. See how it goes. It's just. But if I have a situation, <laughs> my 
Okay. Oh, one more thing that I like to do when I'm at this stage is will open. Oh, I'll make it smaller. If you are um, working with Photoshop for the first time, video how to do that. But I'll quickly, in case you have um here in settings, your um, bigger critter in general. In window, you can switch between multiple documents and sub windows and tabs. What tabs do is the uh, for a second. Oh. Um it just creates tabs. So if I were to open another file, it and and tab, and um, to to be able to open this window into separate windows, you can't be in this mode. You really have to go into settings and configure create go to windows, sub windows. Okay, there you go. And then you have to open window, new view, and now we have only one file. Open. Sometimes can so just open that. And voila, anything here automatically and here and it's very similar to programs. Although I used to work with a Painter, I'm Painter ten, <laughs> really, really old version. Um, I used to work with Painter, and Painter did not have that for that version for a long time. Didn't have it. Really, really did not like it. I had to like switch around. Well, I had to do a lot of things. It work. Didn't like it. I love it in here that as well. All right, Mr. Smutty Pie. So ba basically, this part is about covering lines or substituting them with new lines, interly lines. Or And so I'm just painting over anything that, and at that point I I'm not really about losing some, sh you know, basically. Not. Sometimes, um, well, especially if I don't have my client is not very particular about, um, or maybe I should say that if I'm doing it for myself, like right now, I don't care that much. Um, I do care. When I'm working for a client, because uh, clients, uh, which is very normal, get uh, attached to the first sketch a lot. Um, when I was starting out, I made a mistake of not delivering a good sketch or delivering. Uh, the sketch was good, but I was um, very relaxed about, for example, about how the person, the main character, looked like, what they looked like, what they had on their face. I just made some kind of blubby face and I'll work on the face later. I'm gonna find I'm just gonna figure it out a bit later. And I would spend hours painting this new beautiful face and you know, to me it was gorgeous, but it was nothing like a sketch. And the problem was clients would usually like the new sketch but Yeah but you know what? It's very beautiful but kind of we kind of liked the first one a lot, and I'd be like, "Well, great. Now I have to go back to that one." And just, I really didn't think it through. It was just like a face, a generic face. I replacing with your face later, but the client already liked it, and 
so um, I try not to do it anymore. I, I try, especially with faces, anything can be changed, the gestures, the colors, you know, design of clothes, etc., etc. But the face, I try to nail first time. Um, Jose is asking, do you use smudging brushes? Um, actually, I haven't used them for a while. Um, so, so I guess the answer to nowadays is not. I used to work with um, smudging brushes, and by that I understand brushes that are proper brushes. They just have this extra effect of a smudge. Is that what you mean? I hope that's what you mean. Because I don't like smudging tools as much. I, I actually hate smudging. They just, they look terrible. Um, they make the artwork awful, honestly. I really try to avoid them. I'll, I remember seeing, um, especially at the beginning, where people were not entirely um, used to digital art. I'd seen a lot of artwork that kind of like a cheat part. Clearly, you took a photograph um, and just covered it. Um, I, I really didn't think it was fair. I was still at the stage of not using even as much as reference. It's just like, I'm going to use my head. If I'm to be a proper artist, I have to do it all for my head. I have to do lines on the canvas and not need a reference. And of course, that was stupid because <laughs> you do need reference. Um, it, 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 it means you just know what you're doing and you're taking references and then you don't have to copy those references, you use them for references. So, um, oh, coming back, I forget what the question was. Um, yeah, so, um, I used to, to hate those artworks, call them for now. Um, and I hate it. Cool. Oh, yeah, I don't. Unless it's extra little effect added to the brush. That's it. Blend the colors more. But to me, the this effect uh, I achieve, or this feeling I achieve by using uh, brushes with texture. Texture, especially. Um, Rita, kind of like you know, one stroke is a texture and then blend it depending on how you the paint or pattern options here. There's a lot to do in settings. There's a cutoff pattern, which quite honestly uh, some of the things I kind of would have like uh, so some my brother's got a out of brush, but yeah. So I hope that uh, whenever I get monitors things, when I go back to Krita. I think my work is <laughs> so as you can see I kind of um over all the lines actually. But I have them in mind. Those where I do thoughts, but that's because Scarf. 
sorry guys so you're you're <laughs> you're getting like my um notification All right, um, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to try to solve the problem. I'll be right back. Or not. You're not. Back to it. I don't know if it comes up again. I'm going to try to. Well, not because. I you know, care if you. I get, I just don't. With names. Come up, I like the fact that they're being um, Either could at least A lot. Thank you guys for here. So oh, guys, how uh, can anybody tell me how um how audio is behaving? Because um got some feedback that audio is like behaving funny. Sure. Yeah, I can work. One other thing that I really about create, I can work on the same image, and those two, same image in a mirror view. So, like by pressing M. I um, I love it. Um, especially that you know it happens really quickly. I don't have to really mirror the whole painting. I think the way Krita does it, it it just mirrors. The part of the painting that I can see right in front of me, because if I here it mirrors this axis, from here it mirrors it. Might happen. Can't really feel any different. I'm really, really happy with the version of it's like brand new. The lead to the previous ones, the versions of to for um, every new release was like just on. The, I would have to install it on top of the last one, so it's just like an improvement. This one, completely new version. I have to delete. Previous one, install it. 
but was so worth it. For example, I wouldn't be able to stream the older version. Something uh, really slowing it down. Whenever I would be recording videos, or if I were trying to stream or show something, not really stream, but like show something to some via Skype, I would have so many, so many problems. Uh, it would just lag, I would like just like drag, my brushes would drag, it was so hard to paint. And now it's so, so easy. So I, I don't feel that it's recording it. Forever, I want to be started recording my videos and eyes after. And <laughs> I'm not really sure how, but I know. Jane said, um, that sounds very good. I yeah, I really, really, really recommend it. There, there are some things that I'm sure need fixing and, and you know, how fixing, developing farther. But, but I, I love it for people. Lot of videos because the, the work of so many people who for free who developed this program. People should know about it, and I'm not the only. <laughs> so that you know, just like a lot of people fell in love. I think more and more artists um, use it. If I go onto the forums nowadays and like I'm posting something new and. I'm being asked, what software do you use? And I say, ooh, oh, see, that's new. Ta-da, that doesn't happen a lot. That must have been dreaming. Okay, let's try again. I'm done. <laughs> kind of funny that it happened exactly at the time I was saying how great Crit is. <laughs> oh, because it was, there you go. See, usually, where did I? Okay, you gotta, you guys, I'm gonna find my file. Pause for a second, and I'm Oh. Oh. Back. All right, so I clicked on recent. I don't know, it saved it in the folder. An autosave file exists for this document. I do, and I didn't lose much, so I it's annoying that it crashed sometimes. It does happen. We lose a lot. I haven't been saving. Um, it comes back previous. There you go. I think a part of it is um is streaming. So I said it, I couldn't feel a difference when working, but apparently it does have an effect on how the computer works. As you can see I lost absolutely nothing. So only the only thing I lost is my settings. Oh, 
hello Bogdan. <laughs> uh, Jane says it cuts out a little. I'm assuming it's about the sound. I kind of stopped. Crashed. <laughs> Ending the conversation. I started doing it. Eight, I know. Sometimes we get um, so tangled in what we're doing that we don't think about doing something. I was trying to paint each one of those five um, separately. Edge. Um, I would normally do, but I would. Uh, Bogdan asks, uh, do you always cover the line art? Um, yeah, most of the time. I mean, if you if you mean like the final artwork that I delivered to my um, yeah, most of the time. Uh, sometimes I create this um, kind of faint, well, but not like a very distinct one, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I generally generally try to cover up my. I like brush strokes. I'm. Um. I like it to 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 have a flow. Mm -hmm. There's some pushing my dream. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so I'm here to say. Kind of easier for me to compare it to my imagination. I think I, I feel stressed living. And especially that my caricatures are not always uh, spot on at the. And I know it. Painting from my because I know it. But part of my. Is that if you saw me. Oh my god, what is. Uh, that's kind of deliberate. Okay. Girl. Yeah, I leave natural lines for fingers for me, so that's like other than that, I uh. 
Um. Bogdan says that my. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and he says that he overestimated. Always. What do you mean you overestimated? If I may ask, like, uh, you think, like, your work would not make sense without it, or it wouldn't be clear what you wanna what you wanna show. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea how to read the full name, but the the BDC. <laughs> um, well, you're welcome. I'm happy not to be sharing. I do. I mean, at least it, it's my doodling. Get wasted. <laughs> I usually I do a lot of those kind of, you know, and um, some of them. Make sense, some of them make no sense, some of them are terrible. I don't know where this one goes on a scale of great to terrible, but I'll probably know tomorrow when I see it uh, again with fresh eyes. Um, but, you know, it's fun actually. I, I thought I, was, I would be more stressed, but I'd be more like on an edge. And the only thing I'm really stressed about is that my, my voice is going funny. It's um to be quite honest, I'm losing my every time cold. guys um i heard that there was trouble on the line i don't know how you miss a lot i wasn't aware that that could happen <laughs> so um i was told I stopped and i'm just gonna write you I'm kind of writing in the past because I'm streaming and then when someone stops, I don't see it for a while. I keep talking. I don't know that you can hear me. And now I'm kind of... seems to be okay. I'm going to see a lot of nothing for a while. Sorry for that. So I don't know how much you missed. Um... Oh, yeah, Bogdan says, for a moment, I thought the video was down. Yeah, and I was talking about, um, I was actually uh, answering the question of Terrorist 7, about um, the character front and side poses, and I was drawing that. I don't know that. Kind of like doodling quickly. If you mean that kind of things, like, um, um, I don't know. Uh, but I think I know what you mean. Is that what you mean? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you're asking if I could um, paint him now. I'm not sure if I'm going to have <laughs> to be quite honest. I'll probably just finish it and start getting ready to go to bed. I'm, I'm... getting sleep. Pink, get about the world. Wake up from my addiction at 
o'clock in the sorry in the morning actually. Yeah. But change that because I think I lost a couple of first YouTube interaction. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I don't really. I wish they there was like a sound thing, because only because I just looked to the side, I noticed some. I had no idea. I have I have no idea what problem was. I use it for 3D. Oh, that's a good question. Um, you're asking if you can if you can use them. Sure, I guess. I mean, um, not really finished products. Just pirates. <laughs> a piece of pirate. Pirate. How about I mean, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> let let me see it when you're when you're done. I'd love to see it. The um I don't know if you you've been watching before, but I just kind of drive some top now. Huge mistake trying. I definitely learned something stream. I know that Krita can crush OBS. Quite honest, I can't name it for because I'm going through OBS to YouTube. Krita is on and to monitors and I'm really happy it's working. <laughs> um so I'm not that upset about the, the crashing. Not as much as I thought I performing. One moment that streaming don't know was might have been the internet connection. Here among that kind of evil um, Wi-Fi and my change. Waiting, and but they let's see. shape. Right now, I'm not really trapped over the short. Gonna. He has long, long arms. Probably scratch it.
Yeah, I got like I kind of chased my corner here. I wasn't planning ahead. And <laughs> okay, I'll send you an email. And cool. And I'm kind of blocking in, I'm lazy. All right, I don't need I was going to finish pirate stage that. speech oh. <laughs> and then I'd leave my ah uh, thank you Bogdan uh <laughs> Great evening, Bogdan. We're not that far pushing off. I'm not gonna go and catch forty nine close up. Uh, one good thing, I mean, again, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but, you know, I'm doing stream. I was really going to for a couple. Of actually watching. <laughs> so I decided to. The pirate. More complex. Taller and taller, or at least his growing legs. So, um. Ouch. Check. I don't know why, but he. Mommy sent me pirate. God, I'm getting nervous every time. Up sap now. <laughs> I'm like, is it go? If it does, I'm just gonna pause and really hope. It As you can see, I kind of um, choose uh, colors. I think they fit that place, and then I for paint. Thing, not the color of this, obviously, but it's like a base color. But really, I used to do it differently years ago. that in order to paint some um make it realistic or make it cool I would need to um, be very meticulous so like that I would have to like but create sphere and then I would This and that it was kind of it would kind of start resembling history a bit. So I'm thinking about my artwork and I I'd, I'd start 
scientist. Now I just and yeah, I, I I had to learn it. Study, learn. Still, I still. Get what I'm. I'll be in. I hopefully, hopefully. Um. Their way. Too much. Like, know the rules, but don't be afraid. Cliche. Break the rules, but not in a stupid way. But smart. You're breaking rules. Always be. Everybody. Can Break the rules. Stupid people break rules. Um, I was asking whether my <laughs> first streaming will be available later here at YouTube to view. I think it will. Um, for all I know, it's saving and um. To be able to see it later, I really do hope so. Um, and I have some level of certainty. I say yes. I know. Wow. Feet are cool to paint as well. I mean, not necessarily big, weird, clowny feet. Particularly, I was asked before, I like to paint. Feet is it? Feet, like. Like him about the structure, but that trying to make it kind of data and sort of kind Wear sandals? Maybe with like a costume. Now I would not hurt um that thing. Oh, 
button my image. But I kind of just want three layers. In this case, I, I kind of do that in edit. But I would usually save it as a version and start buttoning. Not entirely happy. I just realized he doesn't. Closer. Until the end I Ah, uh, you mean now this, this character? Um um no idea. I just started streaming I don't even know what it was when I started. Um, but yeah.
Alrighty. Um, he has no weapons. Okay. Oops. Oh. Good. <laughs> Finished. Um, maybe I'm, I'm going to post it later on Facebook. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream and lovely having you here. Um, so I hope, um, maybe in the future, once again, um, have a lovely evening time, guys. Bye. -bye.